I don't want to see <laughs> acupuncture, architecture, agriculture. It's all fake. What don't I like? You don't like archaeology. Archaeology. You don't like archaeology. That's right. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Plara. Plara? Clara with a P. And this here is Frank. That's prank with an F. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing? It is a beautiful Friday, end of the week, feeling good. It's it's December. Yes. Ooh. It's December second. Um. Wow. Twelve two two two. Twelve two two two. One two 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 two. Wow. Yeah. One two 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 two. Yeah. On December twenty second, it's gonna be one two 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 two. On December twelfth, it's gonna be one two one two two two. One two, one two. Uh, one, I feel two. like I'm, I'm doing like a, <laughs> like a that's like a dance choreography. Yeah, right. right and one two, one two, yeah. two two one. We, they right. can use this audio to, to figure a dance out. How you guys doing? It's a beautiful day. Um, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's life. Um, anything happening? World Cup, Kanye West, Balenciaga. Let's just end it there. World Cup. Is yeah. something? Did something happen? Uh, we're in the round of 16. We're just cupping. The, 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 <laughs> uh, you ever see that? Yeah, the suction cups. Medical cu- I've had a friend who... Did he die from cupping? <laughs> uh, I had a friend who did cupping. Yeah. Like, right, like, more more than once. More than, like, I'll try anything once. Yeah. And So he must have liked it. It wasn't a he. <laughs> that's, that's sexist of you to assume that anyone who's being cupped is a I think I assumed he. your friend was a he. That, it wasn't the cupping part. I have friends of all genders. I know, but when you say, I have a friend, if I said I have a friend, wouldn't you think it was a woman? I said, had a friend. What happened? Did they really die? <laughs> yeah. They did? Cupping. It was a cupping accident. No, they did not. They 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 sucked too hard and they and full their whole body went into the cup. Come on, stop. And they said a suction cup. The teacups at, at Disney World. Person. They flew out of it? Maybe one day if you go, pff, a whole they person. They flew out of it? The ha- athletes do it. That's they why do. they have the that's why they have the red spots all over them. Yeah, it's something to do with uh, like basketball players. It's like the blood blood circulating yeah, through the muscles. Yeah, it's baloney. Don't so tell me any different. It's pseudoscience. Come on, I don't believe in none of it. No, no, <laughs> don't miss me with that acupuncture. And miss the architecture, me with the cupping. not the architecture. I don't want to see <laughs> acupuncture, architecture, agriculture. It's all fake. What don't I like? You don't like archaeology. Archaeology. You don't like archaeology. That's right. Which I I kind of get. Thank you. Finally, I, I was standing strong till someone joined me. The only re- um yeah. Wait, wow, what did I just say? Where someone was like burying something, and then they were like, <laughs> they're going. Oh, um, yeah. It was about the bottles being buried in the Recycling? festivals. You know how? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, there's these big festivals that will just go on in a field. Right. But people, the the alcohol go beforehand. The alcohol is egregiously priced. Okay. So you'll go and like. A few weeks beforehand, mm-hmm. X marks the spot, bury a couple bottles of, of alcohol, right? Dig it up in the festival. But um someone was saying like in you know, a thousand years they're gonna be digging up these old bottles yeah. and you know, alcohol can age. Yeah. And it's like, oh, it must have been some kind of like a, a ritualistic Yeah. Um sacrifice to the earth. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, oh, all in this one area. Yeah. But no, why I was watching is because I was watching like um some Stonehenge things. Mm-hmm. And all of the crazy ideas of what Stonehenge yeah. is like, was it this? Was it that? And like, what if it really was just a bunch of knuckleheads right. lifting up rocks? And then you have archaeologists now being like, oh, maybe it was for some kind of pagan ritual. It's like, maybe it was just, you know, like guys building blocks. I'm guessing archaeologists, doctors of, would say... No, we don't just guess. We go by like hieroglyphics and 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 stab. Like maybe they work backwards. Like I don't know. I well, bet they. I bet they have a reason. Here's the thing about it. It's like it depends what you're saying, right? Because really everything's guessing. Yeah. You see it medically. I mean, like look at the studies of the brain. Psychology. Yeah. In a way, is all guessing. The better we advance the more precise the guessing gets. Yes. And so where before it was, you know, 25% might be the truth. Now it's like we're trying to like limit that limit that. It's the same thing with any science or any study. And so archaeologists now will say, 
with beyond a shadow of a doubt, we know this for X and X and X reasons. Yeah. But anything that you're not able to see, it's why, I mean, it it, will, it is still considered the theory of evolution. Okay. Theory. Right? Mm -hmm. Like they have every scientific backing to say, no, we know we have skeletal records. We have, we have this, we have that. But unless you were there to see it, you right. can't a hundred percent say, right. We evolved from lesser species. Right. And so same thing with our, and all you, so you're not saying you don't believe in archeology. span I think what you're saying is you're sort of an advocate to let people know, you know, that we're doing educated guessing. Right. Where, where a lot of people listen to it just yeah. like with a lot of things and, and they'll say, well, if an archaeologist says it, I believe it, and that's that. Right. And you're saying it might be true, it might not be true. Yeah, maybe I'll find your thesis, your theory, <clears throat> your 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 uh project production, no, yeah. your presentation. Maybe I'll find your presentation really um convincing, and I will say, yeah. oh wow, that's something I didn't think of before, or that sounds like you have a lot of proof for it. But yeah, of course. Because you, you think of archaeology the same way I think of psychology, mm. where I believe in the study of psychology. Right. I, I believe it works for a lot of people. Personally, I'm not, you know, going to be running to a psychologist, not because I don't believe what they're going to say is true, but just because it's like I kind of have that other side version of it might be true, it might not. Yeah. And I don't, I don't need this. So hard. So hard. I don't know if this is true, but I, I, I read that um, Einstein, they took his brain to study it, to try to figure out um, why he was so smart. They, yeah. they wanted to see if they could see something different and, you know, they couldn't. Yeah. There's nothing there. Well, it's not about the brain. It's about who's, who's running the brain. The mind. <clears throat> that's enough of that guys um mm -hmm. it is it is friday it's, yeah, it's a beautiful day world cup it's usa advent. usa is going to be playing the netherlands i think oh it's advent it's, it's december 2nd it's the second day of the 25 days of christmas um we're in the first week of advent we have the the candle of hope lit hope lit i'm spencer <laughs> hope lit um and i you know love presents is my love language uh to receive them Obviously not to give them. Mm. <laughs> and so we have a fun thing for me, especially where every day I get a little gift yesterday. Oh, I had your roll, your Har Haribo. Haribo Happy Cola Roulette candy wheel. <laughs> How was it? What did it say? It was same? great, actually. You was know it? what? I think I preferred it. No. And in, in the sense of it's the exact same candy. Is it though? I didn't know if it was like. like oh, no, it was. It was the exact same, but something about just popping discuses in okay. my mouth. I think I might have gotten a cavity from them, but... No, that's not fine. So, Oh, what do we have today? Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it is a Christmas walrus. Walruses being my favorite animal. I had uh, my co-teacher today saying, what's the difference between a walrus and a seal? And I nearly slapped her. She said it to you or to she the children? To me. Oh my god. She was like, because we um there was music playing. Okay. And it was just doing like uh you know, on the iPad it's just a uh, random assortment of little clip videos. Okay. Uh, underwater oh. animals and there was a seal like she's like, Oh, it's this and I'm like she's like, Wait, seal walrus, what's the difference? I'm like How dare a you? big difference. How dare you? But we got here a walrus with candy cane tusks, a little hat that says twenty twenty two. Yeah. To remember the year. That might sit here for a little bit. Um well, I'll take the tags off after the show. <laughs> um, the, you don't see walruses a lot. I'm going to go off on a limb. And maybe this is, you know, when you hear a new word, and you see it a lot. I think for the obscurity of the animal, mm -hmm. you see it more than you think. No, I never see it. Really? Do you? Where are you seeing it? I guess it's just always popping out to me. Do you hang out at... Um... Well, I have a stuffed animal that I sleep with. That's a walrus. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you hang out at... um? Nice. Places where m marine animals are. Oh, wait. You're saying real walruses? Yeah. No, I'm saying like caricatures. No, no. I cartoons. meant caricatures, but I just was wondering also if you hung out at like the, um, what's this place called? The alligator farm? Do you hang out at the walrus farm? I wish there was one. Right now at the alligator farm in St. Augustine, Florida, two turtles have supposedly, I think that's maybe Escaped? something you want to investigate. They think they were stolen. Oh. But they're big Galapagos turtles. They will grow to be 600 pounds, but at the moment they're not. But um, 
they're still pretty big to have been stolen. So I am wondering if maybe an alligator didn't eat them or something. Because uh, how would you leave with the turtle? Two turtles. Two turtles. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's a scary business. Turtle soup. Um, but guys, let's get into it. It's Friday. Mm-hmm. Holy, holy crap! Why? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's Friday. On Friday, we do a little special thing called Doctor Seuss Friday. Yep. Put up the words. Um, on Doctor Seuss Friday, we read a Doctor Seuss book, and I want to stop you. I, I know you're seeing stuffed animals, and you're hearing Doctor Seuss. Yeah, you're like, did I tune into the wrong show? You're like, oh, is this someone you two told kids? me? Yeah. yeah. This 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 little this little, is not made this for preschool kids. teacher is. Showing us stuffed animals right. and telling us about Dr. Seuss. And the difference between seals. No, we're adult. We can say the words like crap. We're big. Yeah. 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 So it's not that. No, it's it's a, it's a real adult smart Einstein show. Yeah. Christian show. Cat, cat, or spiritual. Yeah. It's love is all for everyone. Why we have Dr. Seuss Friday is because in our years of, of just searching the world for right and wrong and positive and negative and solar and lunar we've come to discover that that some of the simplest things have the biggest messages dr seuss is a household name there's holidays for him every school celebrates him he's not the only childhood or child book writer what makes his book special what makes his book stand the test of time you might think it's a clever characters and the wacky rhymes but i'm gonna go off i'm gonna go off on a, on a, on a limb and say it's not in each one of the books that we've read, and we've read now 32 and analyzed them, there's these deeper meanings. Yeah. Positive meanings. Meanings that any Christian w- would follow, any moral person would follow. But Dr. Seuss was able to do it in a way to captivate young and old minds mm-hmm. to get the information without shoving it down your throat. Easy to remember. And saying... Hey, did you go to your diversity training? Right. It's he he was able to incorporate these ideas Come over to my house in a you know in a way that that, that makes everyone agree with it. Right? Yeah. right now, you could say the sky is blue and you'll have two political parties saying why it's not. If you but when Dr. Seuss does it in this way, nobody can disagree and it's great meanings. It came from a long time ago. I don't even know if anyone on earth was alive when he was born or or when he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so we go back to Dr. Seuss books with our big brains now because now we have big brains. Yep. When we first listened to Dr. Seuss books, we had small brains. Yep. Now we have big brains. Yeah. And we read the silly rhymes and the clever characters and we find that meaning and we talk about it. Yeah. Also, a little side note, this is a channel that we go over the Bible, talk about Jesus and all that. We find that this is a great exercise to transition into the Bible. Right. A lot of what I just said is also the same way that we are, ensure we believe you should read the Bible. Look at these stories and parables and stuff and find that deeper meaning. But we do it in a much more superficial, fun way, um, reading Dr. Seuss. So we've been doing this for for months. Dar- gosh darn near a year. Um, we're running out of books. And so some of the books we'll be reading now you might have never heard of. I actually haven't heard of this one. So we're reading Ten Apples Up on Top. Ten Apples Up on Top. Now this is by Theo Lesieg. Wait, Spencer, you said it's Dr. Seuss Friday. Not Theo Lesieg Friday. Theo Lesieg <laughs> is, um, Dr. Seuss's real name is Theodore Geisel. Geisel spelled backwards is Lesieg. Theo Lesieg is his secondary pen name. Used only when... It was written by Dr. Seuss himself, but not illustrated. You ever see a book by Dr. Seuss? It was written and illustrated. You see a book by Do- by Theo Lesieg? It was written by Dr. Seuss, illustrated by someone else. In this case, Ray Mickey, who is a very used illustrator. Oh, is he? Okay. When not being Dr. Seuss. Okay. A lot of the books we read. I think, actually, right in front of me, we have... Yeah. Would You Rather Be a Bullfrog? We read this last week um, by Theo Lesieg, illustrated by Ray Mickey. Okay. So, you see these parallels. We're experts at this point. Yeah. Like, if someone asks me who Ray Mickey is, I'll be like, come on. Next year, you're going to ask me what? Who Theo Lesieg is? <laughs> Get out of here. <clears throat> All right. Ten apples up on top. Let's, let's just get into it. One apple up on top. Two apples up on top. 
Look, you, I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. Three, three, I see, I see. You can do three, but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. Look, see, now I can hop with four apples up on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. Look here, you two. See here, you two. I can get five on top, can you? I am so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top? I am so good, they will not drop. Five, six, seven, fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we're as good as, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven too. And now see here, eight, eight on top. Eight apples up, not one will drop. Eight, eight, and we can skate. Look, now we can skate with eight. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. We can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are as good as you. We all are very good, I think. With nine, we all can hop and drink. Nine is very good, but then come on and we will make it ten. Look, ten apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. Look out, look out, I see a mop. I will make the apples fall. Get out, get out, you one and all. Come on, come on, come down this hall. We must not let our apples fall. Out of our way, we cannot stop. We cannot let our apples drop. This is not good. What will we do? They want to get our apples too. They will get them if we let them come. We cannot let them get them. Look out, the mop, the mop, the mop. You cannot stop our apple fun. Our apples will not drop, not one. Come on, come on, come one, come all. We have to make the apples fall. They must not get our apples down. Come on, come on, get out of town. Apples, apples up on top. All of this must stop, stop, stop. Now all our fun is going to stop. Our apples are going to drop. Oh, psh, this whole page is just an explosion of apples. Destruction. Destruction. <laughs> Look, ten apples on us all. What fun. We will not let them fall. The end. They're amidst the destruction, though. Look well, at the so, grounds. What? Look at the grounds. Like, they are... They were yeah. in the... They were in the explosion. Um, but the destruction was... They, they ran into a crate of... What's happening? Uh, just some security security issues. Security. They ran into a, a, a crate of apples, and the crate broke, but they they didn't. Is that what happened? Well, they all like, fell to the ground, but all the people chasing them ended up with. Oh, uh, the people ended up not they, the same. They all ended up with no ten apples. Wait, they're not the same people who lost their apples. No, it's it's both. So everyone ended up. Yeah. So now it, it was all the the bears and the, the, and the bears birds. and the birds were chasing them and saying. <laughs> Get those apples off your head. Okay. And they said, oh, we will not. You can't stop our fun. Okay. They're running. Oh, no. We're going to crash. Okay. They crash. Boom. Bears, birds, tigers, uh, dogs all end up on the ground. Look, 10 apples on us oh. all. Oh. What fun. We will not. Look, let even the driver fall. and the horse. Yeah. Everyone ended Ends up. up with apples. So even though they thought it was destruction, um, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, <laughs> when I hear bears and birds, I hear... <laughs> I hear NFL. <laughs> Just Interesting. kidding. Just Interesting. Just kidding. Yeah. Well, you, t I, um, you know what? I think I'm going to let you do this one. <clears throat> Just like let me do everyone? No. Not true. Okay. So my thing is. What's your thing? It's interesting, right? Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. So. I'm just going to walk us through okay. it, and then maybe you'll be able to talk. Yeah. In the beginning, the guy's balancing an apple on his head. He's excited about it. Okay. It turns into a little bit of a competition. Right. Then they're out. It's saying you have, you have three animals. You have um, a dog, a, or a lion starts it. He has an apple. Then a dog's like, I can do that, and I can do more. Okay. Oh, and look, I, I can jump rope. And then so the, it's, yeah, competition. Then the cat comes in and is like, I can do more than that. And look, I'm walking on wires. Right. And so, but they're not mad at the competition, are they? Aren't they like being encouraged by it? No, they're kind of over it. Like, really? Oh yeah, that tiger looks mad right there. Yeah, he, he's mad. But 
it's weird. It's like you don't want to be outdone. But then they get to a certain point where they start cheering each other on. So see, well, like good. Tiger's mad, and then now Tiger's like, oh look. So th- this one, the pictures have a lot to help with the um. Yeah. Th- thinking about and it, and so it, it's it's like you cannot do this. I, I up until this point that they all have nine on their head, um, or. They get to a point where we can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are, we are as good as you. This page changes it. We are all very good, I think. With nine, we can all we can all hop and drink. Once they all accept the fact that they're all equally as good, they become friends. And, okay. now, and now, now they're jumping around. And like now they're they're sort of encouraging each other. Come on, we can make it. We we will make it ten, oh. right? Look, uh, we, we, it turns into a lot of weight. First, it's I can do this. Anything I can do, you can, anything you can do, I can do better. Now it's like, we can all do this together. Yeah. But then you have the mean bear chasing out of my house. Uh, I will make these apple fall. Get out, get out. You want it all. And then they're like, oh, we got to get out of here. We can't let these fall. And the bears and the bears are mad. The birds are like, we want, they want to get our apples and they're chasing them. Um, they're running, chasing, yada yada. It's like it's war at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like they want their apples to fall, but then they're all happy when they have apples. So I'm gonna say spir- Disper- dispersion of wealth. Spiritually, whenever three or more are gathered in my name, I am there. So it's the three main characters, um, and they were each uh, they were each seeking spirituality on their own. And gathering information and growing in that way. And they were sort of, um, they were sort of not resentful, but this is what I'm doing. Like, you're not doing it. Um, but they, they, came, they did better when they came together. And then they were, they were cheering each other on. They were supporting each other and saying, and, and, and they were sharing information. Like, I can, I can do it when I'm drinking. And they're like, oh, we can do it when we're drinking. Yeah, and it was almost an encouragement. It's like, I bet, right. I bet we all can do this. And then... Then they had challenges and they had the bears and the birds um, came and tried to discourage them and yeah. say, stop doing it. We don't like what you're doing. Yeah. And they didn't want to partake at all. Um, these There was never going to be that the three main characters would convince the um, – would convince the bears and birds to put the apples on their head. Never. They had. They were brandishing weapons at yeah, them. Yeah, brooms. Only after the huge discre- dis- destruction, which was a centerfold, it took it took um, two pages with no, no words. No words. Um, just, just to do the destruction. I'm wondering if Doctor. I mean, he must have told told uh, Mickey. Is that his name? Ray. Ray. I call him Ray. You know, this is this this is an important part of the the of the story. That's visual yeah destruction you think it's over i would have thought i i've read children's books or even regular but it's over at that point yeah it's like it was oh, surprising but remember they, we talked last it was last week we talked about those last pages of dr seuss yeah and then everyone has apples on their head and everyone is happy everyone yeah. um and if there is i believe the new testament jesus's own words he says i am coming like i will it was it I believe it's in the old, I think it's in the old and then he references it in the new where he says, there will be destruction. It'll be mother against child. It'll be husband against wife. It'll be, remember that part? I do. Yeah. And out of it will come something happy and new. So I'm going to throw that in there for spirituality. Yeah. So I think, I think there's a couple of concepts here. One's envy, right? Um, This idea that you don't want others to have when you don't have, right? So no, actually, in the beginning, it's so yeah, it's sort of that, that unhealthy competition of, yeah. of trying to outdo someone. That's oh, pride, selfish, yeah, pride, mm, selfish right? pride. Well, yeah, so it's, it's like, oh well, well, I can do more than you. I can do more than you. Not being happy with yourself. Then you have the envy of the people that not. I don't want apples for myself, but I don't want you to have apples. Right. And I think the end is uh is interesting. The very last once they all have apples in their head. Look, 10 apples on us all. What fun. We will not let them fall. Not letting the apples fall is a big component in this book. True. It's not just let's stack and then they keep falling and say, oh, do it again. It's not letting them fall. The balance. But yet in the beginning, it's like they thought they would feel better to knock the other apples on. Right. But you never feel like like the, the, the only time 
The idea that that to, to feel better is to knock someone else down is an incorrect thought. You should be building yourself up. Right. Right? Like, that was never the goal of the people chasing them. The goal was always, like, because it's kind of like equal playing field, right? Like, you're when you're when you're envious of someone and it's like, I don't want to be rich. I want that person to be as poor as me. Right. right? It, it, it's, I don't want to, your know, misery loves company. So a lot of people, more than they try to be happy, they get mad when other people are happy and they'll try mm-hmm. to convince them like, oh, really? You're, you're happy? Remind them. Yeah, yeah. Try to remind them like, of the negative when that's not the goal. The goal is, is to and is to be up there with them, is to have the apples and not let them fall. Right. Um, and then sort of like in the beginning, I think you find that um, you see that little glimpse of how working together helps with that, right? Yeah. There's like a lot of different things going on. Like the, the first thing is not the way you, let's just say like be happy, be spiritual, be closer to God. It's like you don't want to do it in a way to be better than someone else. Right. That didn't work. Uh, that just turned into there was always animosity between right. people. Then they started working together, right? Then they realized that, that working together, you can get more apples. Then there was a second, there was like two problems that were both resolved. Right. Second problem is when you and, and the people you're with are up, people that aren't even in the company, aren't, you know, are, let's just talk about Christ, Christians, right? Okay. I'm talking about everything. Let's talk about like Christianity or spirituality. You have the first part. You have your spiritual there's other spiritual people that you're always trying to outdo each other. It's like, oh well, I'm more I, I'm more spiritual than you. I'm better than like, well, I'm gonna do this. Oh, did you do that? It's this game of like, right? Who can be more? When in reality, working together spiritually will grow you all, and right. that goes to your three or more gathered in my name. Right. Then the secondary problem was the naysayers who aren't spiritual and try to break it. Oh well, God doesn't exist. So, right. and it's like that running from that, like you're not gonna take down my spirituality right. or. My my Christianness, and then that goes to my secondary point. When they all ended up with apples in their head, they all were happy. And they're all trying to let not let them fall, and that goes to the idea of it's never it never works out to try to level the playing field by tearing someone else down. Right. Let it not bother you. I'm not saying go put apples on your head and whatever you want to make that your analogy as, but. Don't try to tear apples off into another head. No. Like either leave it alone or right. or or grow. Put apple you, you start doing apples in your head. And then if you are trying to stack whether it's money, whether it's spirituality, mm-hmm. don't do it out of envy and don't don't or no, like don't 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 have too much pride. You know, it's always better to grow together. And then don't try to step on heads or be envious to those with more apples than you. Right. When in reality, you know, deep down that oh, you'd be happy with 10 apples in your head. Um, it it kind of reminds me of a skate park, a uh, skateboarding park. Okay. <clears throat> where, you know, when you, I, I see it a lot in skateboarding parks where. You, do you spend a lot of time in skateboarding of parks? Of course, yes. And um, where you're doing a trick or whatever and the people who, who come up might not know that trick or might sometimes things are invented right before your eyes if you do hang out at a skate park skateboarding park because especially there's different elements at different skateboarding parks yeah so like hey we could come off of this wall or this rail or we you know we have this board with us and um it's good to work with other people because you get inspired yeah and so yeah when that, that was the thing. That. It, I, there's a, a photo that i'll pull up of them we're talking about like the first part here when they finally came together mm-hmm. and where they all now have like the same amount of in the, in the, of apples on on their head because they got to that point together. Whether it was at a pro- and then it was the one person saying, "I bet we can do this," and the two faces of the other ones were like, uh, "Like I don't right. know." Like, there was this right. there was this bit of discomfort right. with the idea, but it was that togetherness right. that we can do. I like the change of I can do this, I can do this too. All unfamiliar territory, right. all pushing their own limits. And using each other to to do it. And as for Dr. Seuss, you might think, oh, it's just a counting book or whatever. But um, I like his books because they're not, um, you know, most ch- children's books are like always a happy ending. Yeah. They're not. We've had books that didn't have happy endings. Remember? We yeah. were like, okay, that was unexpected. Yeah. But also these kind of books that have 
the big destruction and then it, they were happy. Yeah. So it's like all the different ways that life can go. Like sometimes when there is a whole breakdown, mm-hmm. it's not the end of the story. Turn the page. Or just all the elements. I mean, like yeah. you can sort of see yourself in any one of these positions. You can see yourself as one of the first people. Yeah. You can see yourself as one of the group. You can see yourself as one of the bears chasing the driver of the, the bear's trying to knock them carriage. down or the birds trying to steal them yeah those are two different elements of, of what you try to do to other right. people in envy mm-hmm. whether you're trying to tear someone down or you're trying to steal from someone else to get for and yourself. like crowd mentality and everything like crowd this. mentality but that's dr seuss friday for you how'd you like it i don't know um we'll be back what was that what did that mean <laughs> we'll be back next week knock on wood um Till then, have a great Knock on Wolvers. Have a great December third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. We'll see you on the seventh. Peace.